Hello Guardians, it is Ebontis here, and in this video I want to give you guys a run through of the Vox Obscure mission that anybody can do. I'm not going to be using exotics, and it's going to be a pretty basic loadout. 1550, not really doing a bunch of pinnacles yet, showing you guys that is definitely doable, but 1550 does matter. Now, of course, my artifact is going to get me a little bit above that since, you know, I'm plus 15 on the artifact, but I'm really using 1550 weapons, which is the key. You know, it's like my armor's probably a little low, a little high. It all bounces probably pretty close to about 1550 is what I was shooting for, plus my artifacts. Now, I'm going to do this with no exotics, as I said. If you got something like Arbalist, if you got something like Graviton Lance, if you've got something, you know, like whether you've got a threaded needle with a really good roll on it, or Truth, if you want a bunch of rockets. There are a bunch of exotic options you can use. Definitely exotic armor if you want to lean into a build. I've got a couple of volatile things on here. Um, or I've got a couple of mods that are going to be more into the void. So as that's something I know a lot of you guys can get into, seems like one of those things you may as well actually use, since you'll be able to have a little bit of defense there, get a little bit more of your class ability back, stuff like that's not a bad way to go. But generally what you're going to do is you want something for range. You're going to be hitting tanks. You're going to be hitting champions. So you want, and you want to put some, be able to put some damage into the boss. So this is going to be hitting tanks. This is going to be hitting the boss. This is going to be hitting champions. The champions, yeah, I know boss spec doesn't help as much, but the boss is mostly what I'm using this for partial damage. Um, something void seems to work pretty well, and you're also going to have some champions to kill. So you're going to have void shields, and you're going to have champions in here. You're also going to have solar shields, but it's not match game, so it's not the end of the world if you do. Something like Arbalist takes care of all of that stuff if you've got it. I've been recommending it for a while, so if you've got it, use it. If you've got a new option where you've got the adaptive munitions, something like this. That actually would work pretty well, but then you would need a pulse rifle up here, theoretically for, you know, your unstoppable champions, unless you take something like Bastion, which again, you could do and just probably work over a champion with that thing because it's intrinsically unstoppable. So those are your main options. I'm just using my Red Herring Rocket Launcher. I did level this up. It's field prep for a little more reserves, frenzy for that extra damage when I'm in the middle of combat, which is pretty much the entire time. And that's kind of the loadout. So use what you're comfortable with, but you want something ranged for tanks. You're going to want something for chunk damage and then clearing adds. And then you're going to want your pulse rifle for unstoppable champions. There are a few of them. So let's load in. I'm going to tell you guys a couple pieces of how it works, the important th factors, and kind of explain the tank as I go live. So we'll see how that goes. Here we go. All right, so when you start out, you're not going to have a time limit. There are two sections that have time limits. There is the tank section, and then there's also the um, kind of final section once you basically get to the rally flag and go forward. Now, I would say go hit a public event, go hit a rally flag before um, you start this mission, because sometimes you can be without ammo, which is really annoying. But again, you can do all this stuff, and I'm just clearing basic ads before I get to anything and there's one more piece got to be able to actually see over here see again sniper rifle literally like one shot but again pulse rifle gives you a little bit of range to work with and again i got plenty of ammo so i'm gonna grab that now before you head inside i'm gonna clear out the champion now it's not that required because you can take take you can kill the chain i can talk you can kill the tank i'm sorry and then you're able to um basically leave this guy alone but if you don't kill the, this guy early, he's just going to put damage into your tank, and you want that tank to survive. So if these guys are gone, you just don't have to worry about them. There's nothing down here but you and a tank and a couple miniguns. The miniguns on normal go down very, very easily. So once all this is down, you just have less to worry about out here. And you can drive your Sparrow out here. I kind of want you to remember that because we'll use the tank to basically bust out of this wall right here. We're going to kind of make a U-turn in the building. Come out of here. There's going to be some enemies that land. I might shoot once real quick, and then I'm going to drive my Sparrow around to avoid some annoyances that will basically slow you down. I want to give you as much time as possible with the tank section as you can get. When you come down here, you're going to have three ads. Pretty easy. Again, once you're at 1550, this mission's a lot easier. I tried at like 15, 1520, I think it was, and I got worked. But it's just easy. I say easy in a relative fashion. Much more manageable damage-wise at about 1550. So just match the level. Even that guy goes down pretty quick. And then if you get close to kill this guy up here... So what you can do is blow the door open. 
heroism doesn't And then you're going to have these guys fall. You can kill them if you want with this thing. Guarantees a good death. And then honestly what I would do is just jump out and jump on your sparrow. I'm skip most of those. They're not really necessary. So you've got one mini cabal tank guy over there which is a scion. So what I'm going to do is come over here. I'm going to find my few guys that I have. They will make you flinch, so just be careful. There's two of them. I'm going to put my work into the boss tank. That should get a good chunk of damage off. Remember, you want to hit the wheels, and you want to hit them it's like three or four times with the sniper. There you go. He's almost dead. I have to hit him literally like one more back wheel. There you go. Once he goes down... See if they're nice enough to drop you any ammo, but probably not in my usual sake. You got one more minigun up here. That's actually a little ammo, which I'll take, but I'll get a rally flag, so it's not a big deal. When the tank drops, your goal is just to go as fast as you can. You do not want to stop. Now you're going to have a ship up here, which if you can shoot the ship out of the air, might make it a little easier to have less thing shots following you. These ads here, you can hit the little missile button, whatever you guys have. And then just work your way forward. Now, when you get up here, you got three things you got to kill. You've got tanks, which are going to hurt. So kind of focus on hitting the wheels with the tank. You've got little power generators, and then you've got shields you got to kill. The shields you have to kill with the tank. So if you lose a tank, you can get another one. But the Cabal tanks are your priority. So you want to stay mobile and also use your main shots. But usually, as the tanks aren't quite out yet, I like to shoot these sections here. Because then I can get some work in. So find your tanks, focus on those. Focus on one at a time. It's just less things firing at you. So that's one tank down. Focus on the second tank. You're going to make your life a little easier if you do. Also, watch out for the threshers in the air. I love how homing shots just don't miss. There you go. Tanks are down. So what you're doing now is going for the generators. If you got three on each one, you got to make sure all of them actually die. You've also got these Scion Spotters, so if you want to kill those, it makes your life a little easier. There you go. Now, you got two minutes, so, you know, take it up. And the easiest way to do this is from the back of the map. It's just going to make your life a lot easier. So again, focus on the generators. And you'll know you have all the generators down because you can see this shield now. Once you can take that shield out, you can actually shoot inside, and you'll be able to break the interior piece. Watch the miniguns. This will just take you a little bit of practice to get used to. But it's not as bad as you think once you're actually up to level. It's, at, when I was under level, it hurt. But at level, it's not nearly as bad. And the threshers being annoying, shoot them out of the air. One more shield generator. Now again, shield generators should be basically down. They are down. Now, if you want another tank to blow some stuff up, you can totally get out of your tank. Just know that there's more stuff out in the world, like a hundred dogs out here. Now, if you want to grab another Drake, now you got a fresh one. Now you can go kill anything you want. Take your time. The ship's probably going to help you with the Threshers. You're going to have these little Scion Spatters. Kind of nice to take those guys out. Again, your tank has so much health at this point, you're probably going to be fine. You're going to have one champion up top if you want to kill him. Just for it, because you do need to kill champions in here. This will help you finish the pinnacle goal a little faster. There you go. And blow the door open and you're good. That's the opening section. If you go in here at 1550, the tank basically survives much, much better. It's really not that bad. Hit your rally flag, and this is where your second timer starts. But this is also a checkpoint. All right, so make sure you hit your rally flag. I did just die, for honesty's sake. Uh, it's not a completely flawless run. But even if you do, it's not a big deal. You're just going to restart over in the same section. And the only thing that killed me is just I got surrounded by a whole bunch of dogs. So really not that bad. You can come up here, kill a couple of scions, a couple of dogs. Until you kill them. Basically, just kind of be patient up here. He's almost dead. Literally can finish him. If you kill him up close, you kill him far away, just know he's going to be a little aggressive, so be careful. Looks like I got one straggler. And you're going to have this boss centurion back here as well. Not really too bad, but this is why I told you to put boss back on. Because major spec will help some on, like, your primary, you know, stunnable champion weapon. 
But honestly, boss spec is what you're fighting most of the time, so you may as well just have that going. A lot of dogs, a lot of champion, a lot of these little guys. But I'll take a little ammo so it works. Now, once you get to this section, and you could run past half of this. I could skip that guy. He's just being annoying. But yeah, totally died on my first attempt on this video for you guys. But guess what? Checkpoint's in a great spot, so it's not as big of a deal. It's not like Master where you're probably going to get kicked out to orbit. So when you come down, easiest thing to do is if you want... Pop a well, go invisible, get your bearings, and you honestly could just like run in this room. Go hide over here in the corner. That's going to give you a little clearance to clear some of these ads out, and then also avoid the middle room section for a little while. Now your goal is always in each one of these rooms to find the, the scion in the bubble. You have to go in there and do damage to him in the bubble. You don't specifically have to punch him, but you just have to do enough damage, kill the scion, and then hack each terminal. You just got to do that on each three. So in theory, if you got enough invisibility, you could probably do it a little more efficiently. You're going to have a champion sent right here. So if you didn't run in, you know he's going to be waiting for you. Or if you didn't reload your weapon, you know he's going to be waiting for you. He doesn't tend to cross the fire threshold because he's not completely stupid. As much as I wish he would. There we go. Plenty of scions, so keep strafing. Don't stand still for long. You got miniguns coming up as well, so be careful with those. Colossus. Okay, the miniguns will flinch the living crap out of you. Normally I wouldn't kill him that way, but the miniguns right behind him and he's just being annoying about it. Now, just to my right around this corner, you're going to have another minigun, so don't cross that unless you're ready to go straight for it. So clear a few more of these ads before you jump. Clear it right here. There you go, make your life a little easy. Then you're going to have to clear a couple of these ads out, but then the next area is going to be right in here. Same principle. If you got a grenade, chunk it in, clear the upper level ads so you can go straight for them. As you're running up there, reload your rocket or whatever big thing you plan to use. Then you can kill, kill this guy, grab ammo, hack it. You could even just leave him up there. Not a big deal. Don't have to kill him. Run outside, get the last side. Just keep heading down the room the same way. Same principle is going to apply. I already killed most of the ads, so it's not that big a deal. Come in here. You're going to have a couple Centurions, but they go down pretty quick. Anything at about at level weapons will take them out pretty fast. So again, I got a Centurion up there. I don't know if I even care too much about him. You could actually reload your bubble in here because nothing's going to hurt you. Punch. Kill him. And then grab this and then get out of here. If you got any ammo needs, you could kill this guy. Maybe he'll drop some ammo. Probably not, but you never know. And about six minutes left, you're going to clear the opening door here. Now, you're going to have a lot of miniguns here, so focus on those and then go for the Colossus. The door is open, so minigun, minigun, minigun. Then you can go for the Colossus once all the missiles go away. Just do that because I've got triple tap, so I may as well make the most out of three shots. Boss is going to spawn up. It's not a bad time to go smash him with a super. If you got a Nova Bomb, you got Tethers. Good. I'm running bubble right now, so I'm not going to get the same benefit, but either of those supers would be fantastic. So he's going to be hanging out up here. So try and go find wherever he landed and felt like hanging out. And then just start putting some damage in. The quicker you get your damage on him, the quicker you're going to push him to those next phases. The ads are going to be around pretty constantly. So your goal is just to find him and put damage in on a fairly consistent basis, however you can. And again, you're going to want to move around. And there's also typically going to be a Colossus up here every so often, so be ready. When you get him down to a third of damage, four miniguns spawn all the way around that thing. So you are going to uh, want to actually put some damage into his butt. Again, embrace the Void 3.0, Devours, Invisibility, whatever you got, it works. I'm going to hit him with this for a chunk. A little more damage here. Okay. That is when your miniguns spawn, so hit the miniguns. you got to get yourself out of that really quickly. There's your three miniguns. 
Now, same thing as we did in those previous rooms. You gotta punch your scions to be able to actually do damage to them. You got them in three places. You have a Colossus up top. Be careful. Come on. Really? Just die. Now again, if you feel like you need to gather your thoughts, you know, I can throw a grenade down. All these guys are going to come over here. I can kill this guy, let everything explode. That's the joys of volatile fun. And again, if you're up here and you feel like you're getting shot in a bad position, just don't stand on those hot red tubes. And I'm going to pop my super because, you know, I feel like I'm in a pickle. Mine's not doing me as much as yours will, but... Yeah, that's why the miniguns are important. I'm going to try and get a little bonus damage while I've got it. So I got to punch one more before I get to my damage. So these guys will, again, use this as a nice time for gathering your thoughts. That's probably a complete whiff anyway. But yeah, Nova Bombs, you're going to put in some work. Again, Tether's now powerful. All that stuff's pretty good. Need some ammo. Get some ad clear going. Hopefully I can get some ammo. Where's the boss guy? He's over there. You want to give me some ammo? No? Cool. Guess I'll take my sniper. That's fun. Never been uh, mid-air stunned like that. Not a big deal. It's not like you can fall to your doom. It's a pretty enclosed room. I need to actually see him. So I need to get some chunks with the rocket here. That's not bad. And still. Close to that next damage phase. Got a Colossus again. If you hear those shots coming, find a way to get that guy taken down. And quickly. So you'll notice he's got like electric attacks. He's got these attacks, which you definitely want to evade from. And sometimes he's just going to be really annoying. Now these you can technically shoot. I got a minute and 30 seconds for this last phase. I have not much ammo either. That's the other issue I've got right now with what's going on over here. Mini guns. You want to go around the center? That's actually not a bad way to do it. Be careful if you're being chased by all of those. All the mini guns are now down, so now you know I've got to punch this guy. I actually did punch the right thing. I have 55 seconds. At least I got a couple of rockets. So again, now I'm literally just trying to punch and move and punch and move, and then I'm just going to try and get my damage on him in about 45 seconds. Again, if you have something like a Nova Bomb tether, yeah, that's going to be a much faster damage chunk than I've got going on here. It's kind of going to be down to the wire here. And that's a wrap. So it's pretty tight. Not the fastest run, but if I'm doing that with all legendaries and everything just like that, not really a beneficial damage super, you guys can definitely do it better. So that is a wrap on the mission. Very cool lore. This will get you the dead messenger grenade launcher once it all spawns in. I've already done it this week as kind of practice, but the chest would be sitting right up here. And then you would actually get your grenade launcher. Pretty cool grenade launcher though. Uh, it's basically going to be a wave frame grenade launcher that is going to go just like hard light. You can do arc, solar, and void, and it also shoots three energy waves in a bit of a triangle, so very good for clearing ads. So if you guys enjoyed this video, drop a like below, share it with anybody you need, but again, basically all legendaries, you've got plenty of exotics, you've got high damage supers you could use, Thunder Crash I could probably nuke a section on. You've definitely got other ways to play this, but this is basically a legendary, a little bit of void point oh for some of those wells, and pretty standard loadout. So again, if you enjoyed this one, leave a comment. If you've got any questions, loadouts, anything like that you want to share, Twitter, you guys can find me 
if you guys haven't followed me yet, go follow me over there. Just helpful. And also it's where I post a lot of information of what I'm doing, when I'm streaming, what I've got going on. If you want to find me on Twitch, which I've been streaming a lot, twitch.tv slash Ebontis, or right here on YouTube. Uh, hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell, gets you my new videos, lets you know. I know a lot of you haven't subbed yet, so please do. And if those of you who are uh, YouTube channel members or Patreon subscribers, thank you for going that extra mile to support me on this journey. Y'all are amazing. All of you are awesome. I'll see you soon.